Hello, my name is Robert Donahue from the Environmental Learning Research Centre at Rhodes University. And here what I'm hoping to do is to build a picture in this short video of ESD as ethic-led action learning in the wake of COVID-19. Well, by definition, ESD can be approached as learning to recognise concerns, assess value, in regenerative action learning towards more just, peaceful and sustainable futures. Now, the original work on handprint came out of India, but in work in northern Norway with the Sami, what came to the fore was idea, the idea of respect for each other as the central focus for successful ESD. And of course, this led to concern for others, as well as being attentive to needs and being engaged in a common good. So this is how the idea of handprint care as an expansion of the original handprint idea emerged. And we were working in classroom settings in conventional subjects and the handprint logo was um, developed towards um, ethics led learning in classroom settings. And working with the four quadrant model of Anne Edwards using um, Vygotskyan um, socio-cultural approaches to education, story sharing became a central focus in um, the beginning so that students were able to find out more and learn the content in their subject and then begin to work out concerns and try out solutions. So what we had is something really practical that was centered on developing empathy and agency in a classroom learning situation. And if we go back to the definition, it fits in very well. Being able to recognize concerns develops from quadrant one around stories. Then assessing value develops as the learning progressions advance and similarly regenerative action learning um, follows that. But we needed more depth in understanding of ethics in classroom settings. So we went to Nell Noddings, who notes that ethics in classroom settings, that empathy is both cognitive and emotional, involving modeling, which opens up in um, a conventional classroom teaching situation, dialogue, which happens throughout the learning process, um, practice, which is particularly centered on action learning in the handprint approach and confirmational affirmation, which good teachers do and knowledge acquisition actually um, achieves. So what we had now was a framework for an ethics led approach and um, the noddings emphasizes that these processes are activated within and depend for their success on the establishment of caring relations. So the handprint care approach was developed and elaborated. And in handprint care, um, what we did was we approached it as ethics led learning within critical processes of co-engaged dialogic mediation in classroom settings. Um, and here a deliberative action learning approach can enable um, participants to activate the linguistic and cultural resources for achieving the transformative purposes of ESD. So not only did we have um, an idea that was rooted in cultural community settings and um, a model for um, a learning progression out of stories and story sharing, we also had the um, framing for an ethical classroom where um, the handprint care approach could come to life in the engagement between teachers and children and amongst children in an action learning process.